Welcome to SysEng Quick. My name is John, and today I'll show you how to run the Linux version of VS Code on Windows using WSL. You might be wondering why anyone would want to do that. Doesn't VS Code run natively under Windows already? Why use the Linux version? For me, it's about remote SSH development. The Windows client doesn't support connection multiplexing, and without it, Anytime VS Code opens, reloads, or relaunches a workspace, a new connection is made. That might not seem like a big problem, but it does have some serious drawbacks. Imagine that you can only connect to your remote server via a jump host. Maybe the jump host uses 2FA, and your workspace isn't in the recent list, so you open it from a terminal after connecting but now you have to relaunch the workspace in a dev container. We're already at six separate connections. Now imagine that every connection requires manual input, say a password or a 2FA token. That's 18 times being prompted for a credential. That example is a bit on the extreme side, but it's based on my actual work experience and it's a big part of why I don't like using VS Code under Windows for remote development, despite the fact I really like VS Code. And although I've tried many times in the past, I've never had any success getting the Windows VS Code to use the WSL SSH client. Since I can't get Windows to talk to WSL, let's use WSL to bypass Windows entirely. We'll start by downloading the VS Code Debian package from Microsoft. We'll open a web browser and search for VS Code Debian, since that's the distribution I'm using in WSL. One of the top results is running Visual Studio Code on Linux. And on that page is a link to the deb package. This should also work for Ubuntu. So let's right click and copy this link and we'll open Windows Terminal. To download the package, I'm going to use curl. It's not included by default in the Debian WSL installation, so let's install it using apt. The VS Code package also needs GPG, so we'll install that as well. We'll type sudo apt install dash y curl gpg. Type in my sudo password, and we'll let it install those things. Now that our package is installed, we can type curl dash capital L lowercase o slash temp slash code dot deb and then we'll paste that link we got from the web page. The capital L means follow redirects and the lowercase o tells curl where to output the file. Don't download the file to your home directory because the apt security sandbox won't be able to access the package there even though we're going to run apt as root. Once the package is downloaded, we can run sudo apt install dash y slash temp slash code dot deb to install VS Code. Let's launch it by typing code. It tells us we should really just use the Windows version and makes us confirm that we're sure. Yeah, I'm sure. If we don't want this prompt in the future, we can define the don't prompt WSL install environment variable in our bash RC file. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's highlight the variable name and we need to edit our bash RC file. You can use VI or Nano, although Vim is not installed by default in Debian WSL. I could install it, but I'll just use vi. vi tilde forward slash dot bash rc. We'll go to the end of the file, and I'll say export, and I'll paste that variable in here. Doesn't matter what the value is, just so long as it's defined. So I'll go ahead and hit escape, and we'll save this file. And now I'll close VS Code, and I'll run code again. Of course, I need to refresh my environment, so let's do source tilde.bashrc 
and then we'll type code. And now you can see there's no more prompt. And that's how to install the Linux version of VS Code under Windows using WSL. Thanks for watching.